Basta. <laughs> oh, I'm being nice, but um, there's been a breakup that has actually taken the internet by before storm. Before Valentine's Day? <laughs> right before. Right before? If you never let me finish, you're not going to get it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so, uh, Brenda, oh, sorry. Guy, Papa, please. <laughs> Brenda and Ella broke up, but she made up. Okay. We've, we've made up. We've made up. But Betty Kialo and Susan have not been quite as amicable because what happened is it's been a long time that they've had the partnership with Posh Palace. Yeah. And um, the friendship seems to have soured. So, <clears throat> Betty had her passport at Susan's house and because we're no longer on talking terms, decided to bring police to Susan's place of work. What? Do we have receipts. receipts for that? Ah, a source said it looked like they were trying to intimidate Susan, asking her why she is holding on to Betty Chalo's passport. The source whispered. Whispered. <laughs> How do you come with cops to someone's place of work if you don't want to intimidate them? A fan who saw the incident asked. This is the only way we can talk. Betty was heard defending her reasons for calling cops and Susan at the police station where the two were holding mediation talks. Sources close to the former BFFs claim that there's, uh, there is no buyout. Betty was brought in as a marketing consultant and since they were pals with Susan, she was given shares to cultivate loyalty to the brand and motivate her to market the brand that much more. It looked like they were trying to... Okay, we've read this one already. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, how are you guys feeling about the story? Because first of all, like, I like... If we're I breaking like, up, yeah. can we not break up like this? We're not breaking up ever. Okay, don't even... But why first of all, I like the, the way universe? they're using the source, <laughs> the fan. It's anonymous people who actually got the tip. Thank you for this story. But I will tell you that we're definitely going to touch on this on Talk That Talk a little bit later on on the show. So, you better stick around. My opinion is that I'm going to miss their pictures together. They seem to have a really solid relationship. I know. It seemed like it was going somewhere. Um, I mean, right before Valentine's Day, it's a shame. It's, yeah, and not in a bad mood, though. Yeah. Susan Ketami's single shots are crazy, though. Have you seen her pictures? Yeah, she looks really good now. She sounds good. She's yeah. like a chick boy. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I, I feel it's really uh, sad hmm. that they were doing very well as, I mean, Partners. girls who are, yeah, girls who are doing, doing well in this, yeah. uh, it was in this market. And then they were very, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, they were very, very tight, flying out together. Anything anybody would want to do. Yeah. I mean, as girls, we, we and would love to And on this table, we're all about so, that. Yeah. yeah. So this so is like one day. For down. me, it's really, it's, it's a sad thing. Yeah. Uh, sad, it's even close to Valentine's. Um, well, there's not like <coughs> anything, but it's but a really sad affair. I, I hope they can they can resolve it. Yeah, I really hope. I so. always I hope say that when when a friend when a friendship breaks up, I feel like it always breaks your heart more than even when a boy breaks your heart. That's true. Yeah. So I can only imagine. Like I don't know who is the aggrieved party here. Like I don't know if mm -hmm. Susan had refused to give back the passport and then Betty had no other option, or did Betty just refuse to have any mediation talks beforehand? Yeah. Or did she even ask for the passport before? I don't know, but I feel like it's. It's really a shame heartbreaking. Yeah. Had to, to be this way. I'm gonna miss this kind of pictures. I know. Um, you my name is Brenda Wairimo. Thank you so much for keeping up with us on Let's Talk. Now, don't forget to subscribe on our Ebru TV YouTube channel over here. And of course, if you've missed out on some episodes, here are some videos for you.